So drug take back is important for two main reasons. So number one, we don't want drugs to kind of stay out in people's medicine cabinets or their homes. Because as we learned through the opioid epidemic that a lot of people obtain drugs for not quite the right, right purposes from friends and family. So if we can get those medicines out of the medicine cabinet, they're less likely to be diverted or cause a problem. Um, somebody gets into the wrong hands, especially like with kids and teenagers and things like that. And then the second thing is that people could just get rid of those medications themselves, but a lot of medications we don't want in our water supply. And with our friends at the sewer district, we were finding that pharmaceuticals in the sewer system are a problem for them because not all of that comes out during the water cleaning process. So we kind of thought this is an opportunity to partner with this government agency so that we can keep the medications out of homes, out of the hands that they're not supposed to be in, but then also out of the water supply. Um, we partnered with Odyssey Radio Station about 12 years ago. And so we've been doing uh, various locations within our service area at the sewer district at discount drug marts. And so we do it the first Wednesday of the month from April through September. But yeah, so we've gotten like 12 years, we get on average about 40 to 50 pounds per collection. Uh, so that's really, really good. So our mission for hosting these is to keep expired or unwanted medications out of the waterways. Because years ago, folks would be told, flush them down the toilet, and obviously that's not okay. So we host these collections where we take them in and then we bring them to whatever city we're closest to for um, the police stations, and then they dispose of them properly. And we're here, WNCX is here, just to get it out there to the people. We talk about it on the air and people show up to meet the disc jockeys. And it's a great partnership. Yeah, like it's, Paula it's really has a huge following on WNCX, uh, so <laughs> she hears about it, people hear about it from her, and then they come out, and then Discount Drug Mart also does a really good job of advertising yes. it also. Oh so my gosh, they do. It's a really good partnership, and obviously it has been because we've been doing it for 12 years. This is our second one. We've got three more to go, July, August, and September. And then we start it all over again in the spring. So every year we try to grow this a little bit and the plans for the future are hopefully to expand it to additional Drug Mart locations. So again, we can try to kind of reach a wider range of patients and nobody has to drive too far to reach one of these events. And beyond that, I'd like to even see us continue to partner with government and NGO organizations to try to expand these kind of creative solutions to problems in our community so we can solve them with kind of the best of both worlds, government, private, non-government, because uh, I think collaboration is really something that is lacking maybe a little bit in the industry right now.